Hello everybody and welcome to your 40th chapter in your Java E7 tutorial series. In this tutorial, we'll be talking about the Criteria API. So the Criteria API is used to define queries for entities and the persistent state by creating query defined objects, which is very similar to what JPQL does. The part where they differ, Criteria queries are written using the Java programming language APIs, are type safe, and are portable. So what you'll find in this episode, uh, you will be going over a little introduction into the Criteria API, how it can be used to model entity classes, and create basic type safe queries. So now that you got all that, let's go into our overview of Criteria and Meta Model APIs. So you heard of JPQL, another way of persisting data to and from databases, and the Criteria API is built so that anything you do in one method, you can do in the other. For example, this criteria query is equivalent to the JPQL query right next to it. So this query demonstrates the basic steps to create a, qu a criteria query. First, you use an entity manager instance to create a criteria builder object. Then you create a query object by creating an instance of the criteria query interface. This query object's attributes will be modified with the details of the query. Next, you set the query root by calling the from method on the criteria query object. Next, you would then specify what type of the query result will be by calling the select method of the criteria query object. Then you would then prepare the query for execution by creating a typed query instance, specifying the type of the res query result. And finally, you execute the query by calling the get result list method on the typed query object. Because this query returns a collection of entities, the result is stored in a list. So let's take a look into using the meta model API to model entity classes. The meta model API creates meta models of your entities, which is like data about your data, basically metadata. Criteria queries use the meta model class and its attributes to refer to the managed entity classes and their persistent state and relationships. If you take a look at these two examples, the following pet class has four attributes, ID, name, color, and owners. A meta model class is created for this pet class to allow the criteria queries to refer to this class. And that's it. That's all there is about the criteria API and how to create queries using the criteria API as well as the meta model APIs. So I hope you understood how we can define queries using the criteria API. And next on, I will see you in the next video where we'll be talking about more about criteria APIs.